What up, YouTube? Um, <clears throat> still on break, but I want to post uh, some three videos, and this will be like the first one. Um, still working some things out, um, but the videos that I'm going to post aren't necessarily uh, concepts and ideas that I'm reflecting on, so I'm posting these videos now. Um, but I'm still working some things out, and I think my uh, little vacation is actually going to be extended a little bit because I'll be uh, moving around for the next month and a half with different events that are going on, a couple of weddings and a couple of mini, you know, weekend vacations. So I'll be here and there. Um, but you know, best believe I'll still be reflecting. You know, there's some major issues that I need to you know really get squared away and I'm still working on them but anyways in this video uh, I want to talk about a a something that I've been through and just a comment or, or just like when people share thoughts with me in YouTube world and in real life something that I continually goes on um, so every now and then I'll run into a uh, black man whether it's a friend or whatever and they'll talk about the non-black chick that they're dating um, and they'll talk about how she's, you know, oh, she's well put together, she's smart, she res she's reserved, and, you know, she's humble. Or they'll make the, the, the complaint that why is it that the average sort of dude can get a pretty decent uh, woman of his own race. You know, come to California and you'll see the average Latino man and, you know, she's with a pretty attractive Latino woman. Like, why is that going on? Right? And on the flip side... When a, a black man has something like that, you know, it's like, oh, man, you know, I struck gold. Um, here's what I have to say. Part of the problem is we're gassing up our own women, okay? So if you have a younger woman whose head's on straight, um, you know, she's attractive, she's doing what she has to do, we award her too many points. So you create a monster, Okay, if you elevate them to superstar status, what's going to happen, gentlemen? She's going to want to be uh, desired by the superstar. That's what she's going to go after. I guarantee it. Okay, I've seen girls get their head blown up and dismiss certain guys. You know, I've seen girls who are okay, you know, they lost a lot of weight, you know, and all of a sudden their head went through the roof. Okay, um, and I'm still seeing it. And part of the problem, I'm not saying that it's completely our fault, but part of the problem is we're doing way too much gassing. Okay? Um, yes, you will see a maybe a Latina woman with a regular Latina man who is to us highly attractive, but her head is not blown out of proportion. So she's not walking around thinking that she's a superstar. She understands that, hey, I'm a normal person. This is what it, this is what is expected of me. Okay, I'm supposed to do certain things. It doesn't make me a superstar. It doesn't make me great. Okay, so their level of who they are isn't that of somebody of a superstar. I'm not saying that they have low self-esteem. I'm not trying to make that point. I'm trying to say that who, their sense of ego and self-worth isn't inflated. It's that where it needs to be. You're a normal person doing the right thing. Okay, so yeah, you will see it because that's not their mentality. Okay, so yeah, you'll go out and you'll see maybe a black man with a non-black girl and it's like, man, you know, had she been black, would she still be with the dude? Probably not, because that black girl would have got her head blown up, whereas this non-black girl, it's not going on. She's not being overly praised. Okay, I knew uh, white girls, or Latina, and even Asians, especially Asians, they would love to flirt with black men because they would get their ego pumped up. But when it came to their own men, best believe they're with an average Joe Smo. They weren't falling for it. They weren't going to say, oh my gosh, look at your eyes, look at your body. Right? Oh, you're so perfect. Look at your hair. They're not going to do it. So their level of ego isn't pumped up like that. But we have a bad habit of doing that. Um, really, we do. And you know, we, we play part in creating the monsters that we don't like. Um, even with myself... You know, this is almost like a dead giveaway to who I really am. If any of, you know, somebody knows me out there. Um, in terms of my group of friends, I always fall back. I don't care who you are. You know, brothers turning their heads around, oogling. Oh, hey, look at her, look at her. I'm chilling. I keep it moving. Real talk. I don't trip off of that. I don't care how cute you are. You're just another girl. 
And I don't say this is to put you down. I say it to keep you grounded. It's not a good thing to have a super ego. Because then you think you're untouchable. That's the problem. You have black women who think they're untouchable. And part of the problem is we've inflated their heads. So I don't do it. Because I know it doesn't benefit them. Okay. Um, going through college. The list of girls that I was involved with. Never was great. Compared to some of my friends and other people. But in terms of quality wins. I was always up there. Okay, um, not because I was gaming girls up or trying to hunt them down, but literally I didn't care. There was girls who, you know, in my younger days in college, oh, you know, they were that typical light skinned sort of girl. Um, and we were involved not because I gamed them up, because I didn't really care. You know, they were used to the sort of attention, oh, you're so this, you're so that. I wasn't tripping whatsoever. You're a good person. If you act up, we're not talking. Okay, and a lot of girls gravitate towards it. It's not even game, it's just honesty. You know, sometimes the best game is to com just be honest and be yourself. You know, for whatever reason, women are attracted to men sometimes that have this I don't really care mentality. That's what a lot of bad boys do. But in reality, like, I'm really that way. You're a great person, obviously you're highly attractive, but... Yo, you're supposed to do certain things. You're supposed to be where you're at. You're supposed to be working hard. You're supposed to be maximizing your p potential. You're not supposed to have kids. You're not supposed to be walling out. I'm not going to give you credit. Don't worry. I will encourage you. I know it's hard. And I'll help you be a better person. But I'm not going to blow your head up. So I think as black men, what we can do to, you know, uh, fix up our end of the problem is to stop. You see an attractive woman doing what she has to do, okay, of course recognize her, but fall back. Don't come off, don't come on too hard. Don't. Okay, because the same, um, you know, a non-black chick that your friend may be with or that you're talking to, okay, who's highly attractive, is humble, okay, um, because she's coming from a background where it's not necessarily promoted. Or that their egos aren't necessarily blown up. They're more so doing it because it's, suppo it's supposed to be done. Right? <clears throat> so hopefully you guys are able to follow me. Like I said one more time. I'm not saying that you need to have a lower value for black women. I'm saying that you're not supposed to be over praising women for what they're supposed to do. Because when you do that, you're going to create this mentality of the super ego, superstar sort of black woman. And if they feel like they're that way, what are they going to go after? They're going to really feel like, oh, I need the superstar dude. But in reality, they're normal. Okay? I mean, at least a whole bunch of problems. You know, when we get older and we may find uh, the attractive non-black girl, you know, her level of humbleness is what we like. Don't we? We, we? we can all agree on that. That the level of humbleness. You know, I've talked to some Latinas, and you know, we all like, oh, you know, she's humble, she's family oriented, blah 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 blah, right? And we can play our part in getting that out of our own women once we start infl inflating their heads. Once we start, you know, being, yo, like you may be attractive, but you're just normal. If you mess up, you'll end up like the rest of them. There's no passes here. So hopefully, you guys are able to follow me. Um, Y'all take it easy. God bless.